Hello guys, I am so happy to be back on track with our metal painting series with chalk paint and I've done some scavenger hunts and I've had a great experience at a local Goodwill store finding some candlesticks. Also went to some stores just to kind of preview what was happening with trends this season and let me just tell you, it's all about Christmas. Before the month of July, Christmas is full blown at a lot of retailers. Been in retail for over 30 plus years and I know how that works. If the retailers are not ahead of the season, they're behind the season. So I felt that I needed to come home and share this with my listeners and let them know, hey subscribers, let's start thinking holiday in our home and also thinking how we can get the best deals out there. I'm still seeing scavenger hunts and yard sales and now at flea markets and I didn't think I would ever love these things but I actually do so I found these great candlesticks at a local Goodwill store for like four bucks guys and it was absolutely amazing I can only imagine that the original purchaser thought that this was um, maybe crystal and maybe when they inherited it from somebody else and somebody else and somebody else they thought oh this is the real deal it's crystal and I can see layers of paint on it so I decided well you know what I am going to revive it and one of the things I'm going to do is crackle the whole thing and let's just take a look at what it looks like. We're going to walk through this new process together. We've used wax, we've do, done all kinds of distressing of metal, you know that, and we've had lots of fun, I hope, learning together. I'm an amateur, not a professional, just simply enjoying myself with finding out how did they make that and they want to charge me 80 bucks for it. Now, four bucks, let's see what happens. So. First thing we're going to do is we're going to, once again, we're going to spray paint it gold with our metallic bright gold here from Rustolian. And that was only like three bucks for this can of paint. And then we are going to apply a paste using Brother Elmer's school glue, washable, no run. And we're going to apply our paste over that gold paint. And after we've done that, I'm going to do a mixture of our chalk paint using our rolling sea blue. You know, that's one of my favorite colors. I'm sticking to it because I have a theme going on right now, but I want to sparkle a little bit with this. So we're going to make our chalk paint with that. And then we're going to do our final coat with um, this clear glaze on the very top. Now, so we're going to do crackle paint the, um, with this, and it's going to be something different for me and you. So if I make mistakes, I'm going to simply say, don't try this at home. But we're going to start out. First of all, by painting these gold, I'm going to turn them upside down, okay? And once that first layer of paint dries, then I'm going to go quickly, immediately to paint this paste, and then I'm going to have to move very, very fast with that rolling sea blue chalk paint. Then I'm going to try and make a little experiment out of how I apply this chalk paint a little bit you know, differently this time. So I'm always wanting to try something different. So we either end up with do's and don'ts, but we're learning together. So let's get started. I've already kind of done my little shake dance with the paint. And let's start spray painting. I prefer to spray paint from the bottom up. Let's go ahead and start doing some creative things for the holidays. I've got some great things in mind. I hope you'll just go along the journey with me. And right now, we are just continuing to put our glue on. This is going to be dry or start to form that skin in just a little bit. And once that takes place, guys, all we will have to do then is to put our chalk paint on. So we painted our candlesticks with the glue, and we are now at the phase of actually applying our paint. And it's very simple to do. You paint it just like you would anything else. I'm using some old chalk paint, my rolling sea blue here. And you can almost tell when glue is starting to dry. You know, guys, it gets that very clear finish to it. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and start painting the blue onto here. I'm going to go very fast. Um, one of the things that I was instructed to do when doing this is to go very, very fast because the glue dries very quickly. And you know, it really does, even though I put several coats on it on here and I made it really, really thick. But I'm just excited to see that crackling effect come to life. I'm so excited to see that. That's one of the things I just can't wait to do. So we're just going to keep going and continuing to paint and get these done.
they look absolutely spectacular. One of the things I love about these is that we didn't have to do all of the excessive painting that you normally would have to do. And now here it is. They look great. I'm just going to give you a close-up shot of that base with the crackle paint. Now, a pleasant surprise. I want you to know I did go back and do my rub and buff gold leaf metallic wax on this with my fingertip. And one of the ways that I did that was wherever there was a bump out in the candle, I applied the, as you can see, I've got this gold still on my finger. Um, I applied the gold leaf to the edges and I just rubbed it along wherever there was a bump out and I just kind of spaced in between and just kind of kept going and kept going until I achieved the effect that I wanted and I didn't miss any opportunity where there was the little ring here. This gold around the edges is actually my finger rubbing that rub and buff gold leaf there. Um, and here it is, just so you'll see the tiny little tube. And I, this lasts me a very long time. Rub and buff, gold leaf metallic. And I applied it to my finger and I just rubbed along the edges. I also rubbed along um, the smaller edges as well. I mean, this is natural from the actual crackling of the actual glue. That's, I mean, the actual effect. I mean, I am so in love with this. And then going onto the top of the candle, you see the same thing with my fingertip here. That's going around the edges here and just every other space. You know, you don't want to be perfect. The crackling didn't come out perfect. So surely you do not want to make a perfect gold line going around here and around and around along the top as well. I ran around the edges here with my fingertip applying that gold leaf metallic wax and then just kind of touching it along the top. I also did it around the edges here, rub that gold leaf metallic wax here. And it's just so easy to do. This was like by far one of the easiest projects I think I've done in a long time. And again, it's all a part of our metal series, guys. You inspired me to do this. So please, let's continue to keep these things coming. Um, these were found at Goodwill for $4. And look at that. The next phase of this is simply to apply our clear glaze and that's going to give it that extra little shine um, and as you can see it, I have it right here and then we're done these are ready to hit the table for family dinners or etc I'm so happy to add another color to the holiday season I was wanting to deal with chocolates and browns and blues and creams this this season and I'm just so excited about that and of course I just want to share with you this is the Rust-Oleum two times ultra coverage this is the metallic bright gold and of course we used our infamous rolling sea blue and this was some leftover chalk paint that I used with a little mixture earlier and this was applied here um, you saw how rough I applied that in the video just kind of made sure it was laid on thick and then still with the glue on there it actually broke it up very well so don't throw away your old chalk paint for those that are ordering offline a designer chalk paint you know and you have other things that maybe you could paint now paint some metals with it and be inspired with that don't limit yourself to just painting the furniture but both of these candlesticks came out stunning just want to give you a close-up shot of that actual crackling effect there this is all Elmer's glue as my second coat gold first um, metallic and then Elmer's glue and then the chalk paint look at that is that not beautiful and the only gold leafing was used with my fingers along these edges here stunning set your dining room table just do a um, fireplace with these candlesticks whatever you want to do but I think we finished another great project thanks for sticking with me in the metal series we may go in and out of it um, because I find more and more pieces to be inspired with but please by all means get crackling yeah ha 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 sorry just to play on words but I thought you would like that but I'm very inspired by these candlesticks and the success that we've had with these thank you so much for sticking with me during this series and again let's get crackling and remember to pray daily I appreciate you guys refer my channel to absolutely everyone that you possibly can and remember to subscribe if you have not already I'm constantly busy not a professional I'm an amateur I tried the things that are already proven out there and I also invent some things on my own and guys I love the chalk paint you know my theme song thanks a lot for being here and I hope to see you again soon